Hi, it's Russ from EIS Electrical. Join me in this video to see how we transform this into that. So this is it, this is what we got here. We'll have to strip everything out. Um, they are dated and uh, there's a number of issues with this installation. That's the, um, the, what we call the bus bar chamber. This is a 100 amp bus bar chamber and the incoming supply is 200 amps. Now we've done a couple of clamp meter tests and uh, when we measure the current um, while all the machinery running in this place it's pulling closer to 150 amps in the um, 100 amp bus bar chamber so it's underrated for what we need and also you can see it's in a total mess lots of things been added on over the last five six ten years and it just in a mess so we're not gonna repair this or to do anything with it we're gonna strip it all out uh, all of the old panel boards old isolators everything will come out um, you've got to take a look at this this is a sub main running from this bus bar chamber to another three-phase distribution board which is about 50 meters away and it got no any fuse protection it just wired straight into the bus bar chamber and there's a couple of circuits like that um, sub mains as well you can see the tails entering into the board um, if you go a bit lower down you get a better view there's no grommets, no lock ring bushes uh, for the sets of tails entering there. All of the, um, the metal edges cutting into the sheathing. This is it, this is the, um, the Eaton Memshield MCCB panel board. This is going to go in that electrical room to replace all of the individual isolators. This is um, an 8-way MCCB panel. We've got a main switch disconnector. I've installed this yesterday just to speed things up. And then all the outgoing wires will go in here. We will have then trunking work all around this. So I've got my colleague Marius here preparing all the trunking work and um, got the board, everything all laid down uh, trying to work out the cable entries, the lens to cut the trunking. The plan is that we're going to have a trunking line on top of the MCCB panel. We're going to have trunking on a side, left side and another one on the right and then we'll have the same trunking running underneath as well give the full ability to enter into the board from any direction with the with the outgoing ways Yeah, that'll do just
95 mil tails that we are using today to uh, supply connect between the main service head and the MCCB panel board. I've already got one of the lugs in there with our hydraulic crimpers. So we are in the process of dismantling this old bus bar chamber. This is all coming out now. You can see it's a it's a mess. It's a spaghetti junction. All of these need to be carefully taken out, removed. Um, everything's dead. It will be isolated by our DNO friends. So it's all safe to work on this installation now. So yeah, um, sooner we get this out, get it all cleared out, then we can start working on the new installation. Right, Maurice. Yes, of course. So this is another one of them old isolators. Um, six to three amp isolators applying power into this little board there. So. So this is the main 200 amp uh, Glasgow isolator that was um, working as the main shutoff point for the whole installation. So we've got everything disconnected now and uh, we are unbolting to remove this. So I've taken out the, the front cover of this uh, old DB and there's only one breaker, one circuit that's wired into it. Um, take that one out, unbolt it, and then this is good to go. So this is another little um, handy piece of kit that we're using uh, during our installation work. So we got these from uh, bought from Screwfix and our various other places. The little handheld uh, uh, lights, you know, to just hook up somewhere and work. But they all got uh, focus lighting. But we wanted to put something a bit more brighter and give better um, lighting distribution. So we got, uh, we got this LED tube light, LED pattern wired into, um, connected into one of these power banks and uh, I've tested it at home, it lasted about six hours. So it's a nice piece of kit. Obviously this is not very electrician-like connection but it's been done by our practice Sammy, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in the junction box, but it is what it is, we'll learn one day. But uh, yeah, moving on, uh, let's crack on with this installation now. <laughs> 
That's enough video. <laughs> okay, so at this point we've got everything fully stripped out. Um, a, just a pure blank canvas for us to start working on with the new installation. This is where most of the new gear will go in. The new Eaton Memshield panel board, the new trunking work, unistripe work, the whole lot will go into that wall. And then we will have a set of 150 trunking coming along there, going up and connecting on top of that to bring in the new 95mm tails and 70mm uh, earth uh, into the new board. So let's get started. So at this point we've got all of the uh, tails in, 95mm tails in, neutral, phase 1, phase 2 and phase 3. So we just got the um, herb to connect up. Once it's all connected up then we'll have our uh, SSC friends coming in to put the fuse back in. Good morning! Uh, it's day 3 of our installation today. So we've got most of the main install work completed yesterday and the day before. So the day one, it was all about preparing things, uh, getting all the unit struts, everything cut, arranged, ready, the fuse board assembled, trunking work cut. Day two, we stripped out all of the old switch gear, the isolators, uh, bus bar chambers, trunking, just strip everything back, uh, bare back to get the blank canvas so we can start working on the new stuff. So day three, we are working on some of the extending cables, some of the sub main cables, uh, the conductors weren't long enough to reach where they meant to go. Okay, so we got a 25mm conductor that we're trying to extend with this, um, um, we'll the through crimps, and we've got a hydraulic crimper, so it's a 25mm conductor, we're extending with this 25mm conductor here. We've already got one side crimped, uh, so we're doing the second side now. 25mm through crimp, we use a 16mm die, and we're just going to slide in the, oh dear, right. Got it. No, it's good, but once again. Yeah. Hold it. Now we've got to trim it back a little bit. The, the length is, you know, you've got to be precise with the length of sliding into the through crimp. Right, okay, right. it's in place. I'm going to use the hydraulic crimper. More, 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 one more time. One more time. Right. That's it. <clears throat> that's it. So that's done. Obviously, this is our um, L2 or the phase 2. Uh, we're going from old color to new color from the old SWA to the extended cable. So, what we're going to do, we've got a heat shrink, we're going to double heat shrink it. slide in the um, second heat shrink on top of this one so this is the black face or the old yellow face we are using a brown conductor but we're going to be sleeving this uh, black as well further down <laughs> And that's it. You got a perfectly crimped and extended uh, SWA cable conductor. <laughs> 